In this video, we are going to see how to add or update additional data in Google Sheets on form submission. So let's say that I have an existing split sheet where I have the details of my employees. Now there's a new policy and there is a form submission through which I'm collecting the response of people about the new policy that I have introduced. What I want is every time I receive a response, the feedback should be added in the same spreadsheet in front of the person who has submitted the response. How can that happen? For this, I'll have to integrate the form builder application through which I'm getting the responses with my spreadsheet. And the same thing can be done with the help of Pabli Connect. So here we have taken the example of Jot form and the spreadsheet is Google Sheets. So for this integration, my trigger application will be Jot form and my action application will be Google Sheets. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page. On the right hand side, we have the options to either sign in or sign up. Since I'm an existing user here, I'm going to click on sign in. If you are a new user, you can always sign up. As we do that, here we have reached the all apps page. These are the various products of Pabli. And here I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using this application. Now we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? I have got the details of my employees in a spreadsheet. Now, let's say that there is a new policy and a form has been submitted by all the employees with their feedback on that policy. Now, I want to add this feedback right in front of the person who has submitted the form. So I'm going to name it as add or update additional data in Google Sheet on form submission. Let's click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or the concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application here will be a form builder application. I have taken the example of Jot form. You can use any other form builder application. Now comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it would be new response. Now you can see we have received a webhook URL. So this is going to act as a bridge for connecting JotForm and Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this. Now I already have logged into my JotForm account. So let me take you there. So here we can see we have already created a form. The name is feedback form. You can create your own form by clicking on this create form tab. Now let's go and click on edit form. As we do that, here is the form right in front of us. The name is new HR policy feedback form. Then we have the fields, first name, last name, mobile number, email, and the feedback. I'm supposed to go to settings. On the left hand side, we have integrations. And now here, what we have to do is we have to look for webhooks. So I'm going to search for webhook. Here it is. Now I'm going to remove this and paste the link that we had just copied and now click on complete integration. So as we do that, we can see our integration has been ready. Now taking you back to Pabli Connect here, it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to take you back to JotForm. Let's click on publish. As I do that, here is the link. So now I'm going to open this in a new tab. And now I'm going to fill up this information. But before I do that, let me take you to the details of my employees. So I already have a sheet. The name is finance team feedback. This is the first name, last name, email address, mobile number. And here I have created a column feedback received. Now let's say that right now the form has been filled by demo user and the email is demo at pablitudes.com. So here it is demo. Then we have user. And then this here is the phone number. And then we have the email address, which is demo at pablitudes.com. And now here we have to enter the feedback. This is a great change to the existing policy. Highly appreciated. Okay. 
Now I'm going to click on submit. So our form has been submitted. Let's go to Pabli Connect. And yes, here we have received the response. So you can see that we have received the feedback here. Then this here is the phone number, first name, last name. Then we have the email address. And then here we have got the form title. Now, once we have received this information, I already have created this spreadsheet. Now, what do I want to do? First of all, I'm going to look through all the rules. So I'm going to choose my action application as Google Sheet. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to look up spreadsheet rules. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. Let's select add new connection and sign in with Google. So as I do that here we have to choose an account. So I have chosen the account. And now Pabli Connect Sheets wants additional access to my Google account. So here I'm going to click on continue. So once this is done, we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Pabli Connect and Google Sheets are now connected. Now I'm going to come down here and we have to fill in this information. So first of all, the spreadsheet. So you can see that the spreadsheet has already been selected by the system and so is the sheet. Next is the lookup column. So here I'm going to look up for the email column. So what is the email column here? Column C. So I'm going to mention C here. And then we have the lookup value. So I'm going to map this value. How? As I click on this, here we can see the previous step. And as I take you down, this here is the email address. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Then do you want to include headers in response? True. How do you want to sort the value? So I have mentioned top to bottom. Let's click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we have received the response. So you can see that I have received the row details. Okay, so I have received the row details where this particular value was there. Now I'm going to update this cell value with the feedback that we have received. So here I'm going to choose another action step. And again, the application is going to be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to update cell value. Let's click on connect. So here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection as I have recently set up this connection. Now the spreadsheet is here, sheet is here. We have to enter the range. The range has to be entered in this format, column name and row index. Now what is the column? Column is column E. So I'm going to mention E here. For the row index, I'm going to map the value. Let's go to step two. This here is the row index. Now, what is the value? So for this, I'm going to go to step one and this here is the feedback. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see we have received the information. So this here is the feedback. This has already been inculcated in our sheet. So this means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. Taking you back to Jot form, open this form in another tab. Now here I want dummy user and the email address is dummy at pablitudes.com. So let's enter the details, dummy user, then here the mobile number. Then we have the email address dummy at pablitudes.com. Now here we have to enter the feedback. I am not okay with the new policy. Okay, let's click on submit. Now taking you back to my Google sheet. Let's see. Yes, here we have received the feedback. So this means our integration is a complete success taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have to do. So here our trigger application is jot form where the event is new response. Then our action application is Google Sheets where the event is lookup spreadsheet rules. And our final action application is Google Sheets where we have updated the cell value. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. 
to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.